Welcome back to the channel and today we have another update on yield nodes. So first off I want to say thank you for the support on the recent yield nodes videos. I'm going to keep them coming with any new news and updates that we do in fact get. Also remember the normal disclaimer that nothing in this video is financial advice. Please do your own research and only invest what you are willing to lose. So on the yield nodes homepage is spin updated now, well quite recently, where it says yield nodes goes to Sonomy. So I guess this is the UNOS logo. Now this is the Desonomy. But there is a new news post on the front of the homepage posted yesterday night. Dear UNOS friends and critics, since the topic of how UNOS masternodes rental services really work in details comes up repeatedly, especially in comparison to a Ponzi scheme, I would like to describe things on a factual and economic basis. Find below the background why yield nodes always was and of course still is legit and must be considered separately from non-legit schemes. So number one, absolute transparency. A recurring argument is that parts of the deposits of investors were used to directly pay for rewards. We've communicated this procedure from the very beginning, means it is not related to any scheme. It was always a very clear to us that such transaction histories could be seen on the blockchain. Therefore, we deliberately, as part of an open door policy, did not conceal it. As well, we have published pictures of us, real names, and do sign company registrations. So, the basically deposits of investors used to pay out rewards has been communicated in full transparency. So, it's not Ponzi scheme, but it is Ponzi economics. Next up, professional yield nodes master node pool. Basically, all of our partners' monies were invested in chosen masternodes. Small parts were used for server startup, rent, mostly VPNs, VPS, running costs, and partly for associated collaterals. Once the masternodes were active and available after 24 to 72 hours, they generate rewards. These RRIs were from 60 to over 200%. To be clear, all masternodes are still running and will do in the future. The ROI is calculated based on the coin value depending on the actual exchange rate coin to Bitcoin and USD to Euro. We offered these masternodes as a pool in which investors could participate by renting proportionally to generate the rewards. Point three, we have a visible Bitcoin liquidity pool. Professionally created with a Bitcoin liquidity pool to handle economic meaningful investors depositing cashing out and exchanging the masternode and staking rewards as well as the Bitcoin reserves. We thus had a relatively stable and calculable system for paying out the rewards of our pool to our partners in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. The Bitcoin liquidity pool is certainly composed of various wallets. So here we have the Bitcoin liquidity pool. So we have new investors going in, masternodes and staking rewards in, then we have payouts, tech and collateral costs and in and out of Bitcoin reserve, Binance, etc. Point four, we have the backed Bitcoin reserves. Reserves of three to 5% of the total value are needed to be necessary liquidity for the payout flows and the protection of prices against dumping campaigns. Easy if the market was under a lot of selling pressure, we use the reserves to be able to make timely payouts, then cash out the masternode coin at a later date when the market was rising again. Point five, we have the important role of Binance, professionally managing our Bitcoin reserves and hedging risks. We deposited a large part of our Bitcoin reserves in Binance. They have the necessary volume and technical possibilities to hedge our Bitcoin reserve with USDT against strong price drops. Constant optimization of the yield nodes working principles. From the beginning, we noticed a loss of a relatively large amount of revenue if we would mark separate deposits and withdrawals make, sorry. It will, I will illustrate by a simplified example, if a withdrawal request from Yielnode's partner corresponds to a deposit of another partner, we had two possibilities to basically do that trade. First course, by action of dissolving, we dissolve the corresponding master node for the payout request, whereby they no longer generate rewards. Then we exchange the corresponding coins on the exchange into Bitcoin and provide the Bitcoin or other cryptocurrency to the payout partner. On the other hand, the side that makes the deposit, we exchange the depositors of Bitcoin coins for master noding, set up a new master node, start it and generate the first rewards after 24 to 72 hours, depending on the coin. This solution leads to the fact that although capital is available, the master nodes do not generate 100% returns. And in the event there are more withdrawals than deposits, there is a price pressure on the coins due to the withdrawal. 
Here we have a diagram for it. You must know to sell, money out, exchange collateral, lose percent, and then pay out. New investor, we have fiat, and then again, losing percent, and the node set up. Second course of action by transferring. We transfer the internal and existing master node or share to the new investor. This generates immediate income for the investor who gets the best out of it. After that, we transfer the deposit from the depositor's account to the payer's account. The simplified illustration shows why it's obviously made sense and was the financial best for our partners to redirect deposits directly at payouts. So we need all handled by our Bitcoin liquidity pool. It happened automatically and was finally our working solution. So if a master node uh, wants to pay out, this master node would basically be given to the new investor and then the new investor would be paying for the master node. Then we have 0.7 September 2022 with strong selling pressure. Until August, our system was running very well. At the beginning of September, our coins were exposed to a very strong selling pressure, which made it harder and harder to cash out the masternode earnings. Therefore, the main flow to our Bitcoin liquidity pool disappeared gradually. Expecting this was only a temporary issue. We decided to compensate with our Bitcoin reserves. So we can see this part of the diagram would now be cut out. The great vision of a decentralized economy, the Sonomy. Due to the mentioned facts, we decided to push the long plan Sonomy concept where all of our coins are backed by real economic assets. We had already made some arrangements way before and started to speed up the planning process. Many partners were, were and are interested in contributing their own assets. One huge strategic partner who had been sorting Sonomy for a long time was the IPI group with his chairman, Uru. And no time in the yield of the UNO's partner funds were invested into any of these assets. These assets were and are always financed by third parties or private money from Steve and me. Then we have October 22, Binance freeze and pause withdrawals. During the September withdrawal phase, Binance froze our account, which as an important result, now only had inflows from new investors. As this would have turned us into a Ponzi scheme, we would have immediately decided to suspend deposits and withdrawals to avoid a bank run means we directly solve the whole problem fundamentally by giving our coins through real uh, through value and a real economic assets. And then the current situation. As described above is the current situation we are now in. We are now planning the restructuring phase where we should finish the fundamentals within a year. We are firmly convinced that together with our appreciated community and our strong partners, we are able to build a new and fair economy at the so-called Dissonomy. Yours, Urs, CIO and CIO of Exceptional Media Limited Hong Kong. I think it's this is really good of the current situation and how this has happened to come. The one thing I would have recommended is why didn't you post this pretty much initially with the whole yield nodes pausing withdrawals, you can't deposit, etc. Because this it's pretty clear, easy to follow, and it understands the process of what happened to Yield Nodes and why they have now rebranded to Desonomy. But why has it taken over a month, really, for this to be pushed? Again, they said they're having a lot of questions about this. But why didn't... Like, surely you could have done this a little bit earlier. I don't know. I'm happy that they have obviously expressed this and gone through it now. But let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think Yield Nodes is a Ponzi? Did you think it was? Etc. But... I guess it makes sense. They basically lost their revenue streams and with the whole market. So they have stopped and then rebranded. But you could have at least be more vocal with this earlier on. So in the Discord, again, it's just a text post of all of this here. Let me know your thoughts on it down below. Again, if there are any other yield notice updates, I will keep you guys up to date as soon as possible on the channel. So make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you on my next video.